All right, guys, welcome to another video. Today, we're going to talk about a serious topic if you spend any time outdoors, uh, and that is ticks. So, stay tuned to the intro. <music> My name is Doug, the Bearded Outdoorsman. Welcome to another video. If you enjoy beard product reviews, gear reviews, gear tips, then you have come to the right place. Please consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about ticks. Uh, if you watch one of my recent videos, I was in the middle of a video and I had a tick crawling on the back of my neck. So that led me to, I need to do a tick video. I need to talk about ticks and what you can do to number one, avoid it what you can do to um, care for it, and what you can do for prevention. Uh, so, so that's what we're gonna talk about today. So, just a little bit of disclaimer, I'm no doctor, so some of the things that I'm gonna tell you, um, if you have any concerns about it, go, go seek medical attention if it does occur and you do get bit by a tick. If you have any questions about any of that, just go, go see a medical professional. Now, I'm just gonna tell you things that have worked for me all right, so the biggest thing that people are worried about with ticks is Lyme's disease, and that's because it's in the it's it's most talked about. Okay, um, in the United States alone, there are estimated over 300,000 new cases of Lyme's disease every single year. That's a big deal. That's a lot of cases. However, there are hundreds of other sicknesses and illnesses that you can get from ticks. There are over 850 species of ticks. Um, they range from little bitty tiny things to decent size. Um, one thing about ticks is they are very, very active when the temperature is over 40 degrees. So if you're going outside and it's over 40 degrees, you're probably going to encounter a tick. Uh, so that's what we're gonna talk about, how you can prevent that. So a couple things, there are chemicals, there are um, products that are made now these products i don't use so i don't have them to show you but the, the main one is permethrin and i'm probably pronouncing that wrong i'll put a picture of it on screen but this is this is a chemical that you actually spray on your clothes you do not spray this on your skin it will burn you you spray this on your clothes you allow them outside you allow them to air out and then when you wear them it's good for anywhere from two weeks four weeks each chemical each brand is different how long it will last um, in those clothes and as a repellent for ticks now the key takeaway to that is uh, ticks are going to get on your body uh, anywhere they can access your your skin they're, you're going to walk through brush and they're going to get on your clothes so one thing you can do is you can tuck your pants legs into your socks you can tuck your t-shirt in so where you want to spray this permethrin, the key points, you want to spray every bit of clothes, but you want to focus and spray extra at the bottoms, your cuffs of your pants, your waistline of your pants, the, the bottoms of your shirts, and the sleeves on your shirts. And that's going to keep help keep them ticks from, from wanting to crawl under there, okay? Uh, the other one is DEET. Now, DEET you can spray on your skin. I do use DEET. Um, I usually buy a small bottle once a year for turkey season. That's about the only time I use it is because I'm sitting on the ground uh, while I'm turkey hunting, so I'm more susceptible to ticks. Uh, but, but DEET does a really good job of repelling them and keeping them away from you. All right, so one thing that I do that I know works that if I know that I'm going to be spending a lot of time in the woods like the following day, then the night before, I will drink pickle juice. Pickle juice is a little easier to go down than uh, vinegar or apple cider vinegar, which is also will work. But pickle juice has that vinegar in it. It will help when you, you sweat and you excrete those bodily fluids uh, through your pores. The ticks will stay away. So I know that works for me, and that's something that I do the night before. I know I'm going to spend a lot of time in the woods the next day. The other thing you need to do is check your clothes periodically. Wearing a black shirt like this is not ideal. Um, that's the reason I wore this one today is so I could prove a point that if the ticks crawling on me I'm less likely to see it on this black shirt and you want to wear light colored clothes and make it easy to see those ticks crawling on your clothes so you can get them off before they ever make it onto your skin and latch on uh, the other thing you want to do is when you get home so like for me when I'm out here filming videos when I get in the house what I need to do is take my clothes off take my t-shirt off, my pants off, my socks off, put them all in the dryer, 
straight to the dryer for 10 minutes. And what that'll do, the, the ticks do not like dry. So when you put them in the dryer for 10 minutes, it will kill any ticks that are on there. Even if you can't see them, if they're super small or they're in the, the seam of the shirt, you're not gonna see them, but you put them in that dryer, it's going to kill them. So that's one other thing that you can do. Now, um, say a tick gets past all that and gets onto your skin and latches on. How do you remove that tick? Now, with a tick, where you get sick is the bacteria is in that tick's stomach. So you do not want to agitate that tick. You don't want to pinch it with your fingers. You don't want to burn it. You don't want to do anything like that to agitate it because what it's going to do, to do is it's basically going to vomit. As disgusting as that sounds, it's going to vomit and it's going to be in you and now you're more likely to get sick, okay? So what you want to do is you want tweezers and not your wife's makeup tweezers, not her eyebrow tweezers. You want some that are made for ticks that are pointed and you reach in there and you go, if, if the tick is here, then you want to come in with the tweezers this way, pinch its head and pull straight up. Now, if the head pops off, the head's not gonna keep living. The head will die and you can doctor that. Now, if you do find a tick on you and you have to pull it off with tweezers, the best thing that you can do is find a small jar, um, like a baby food jar, something small, put rubbing alcohol in there, drop that tick in that rubbing alcohol and put the lid on it. The rubbing alcohol will not only kill the tick, but it will preserve it. In three to four days, if you start getting sick, now you have that tick that you can take to the doctor and say, this is what I pulled off of me, and they can test it and see if that's the reason that you got sick. So those are a couple little steps, a couple little things that you can do um, to monitor ticks. Now the hot spots. when you get home from being in the woods, you need to check your body. Um, I have gone two days with a tick on me latched on before I knew uh, I had a tick on me. Um, I have a good, I can usually feel something crawling on me just like in that other video. I felt something crawling on the back of my neck, but sometimes they will get past me. And I have found one on me that had been on me for literally two days. Um, so what you need to do is you need to check the hot spots. What are the hot spots? Your hair around your ears, around your hairline, um, under your arms, behind your knees, um, in the creases of your arm, your groin, your feet. Um, I'll put a picture up and I'll show you some of the hot spots. That's what you need to be checking when you get home and you strip down. Those are the areas that you need to check. Your waistline, all of that are the hot spots where they like to get. They like moisture, the sweat, and they like the, the dark, tight spots. Okay, so that's where you need to check. But the big thing is don't not go in the woods because of a fear of ticks. They're out there and there's a lot of cases of Lyme's disease, but the, the statistics of catching it are fairly rare as long as you do the precautions. You do what you need to do ahead of time and you'll be less likely to get Lyme's disease or even get bit and uh, have a tick on your body latched on. So I hope this helped. If you have any questions, um, drop them in the comments. If I can answer them, I will definitely try to answer them. If I can't, I will, I will look up the answer and get you an answer to any questions that you have. Just be mindful of ticks outdoors um, and what you need to do to prepare for that. All right. And that's all I got for you today, guys. So if you found this video helpful, like I said, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. And until next time, Stay bearded, get outdoors, and God bless.